Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing about the differences between apoptosis and necrosis. Before getting to these, if you want to see the mechanism of apoptosis both intrinsic as well as extrinsic pathway, we have already discussed these two videos. The link is in the description. Now first of all we know the basic difference between these. The apoptosis is programmed cell death or we can say controller death of a cell, while as the necrosis is not programmed, it's due to either disease, injury or anything else but not controlled. In apoptosis, the cell membrane remains intact during the process, although blebbing occurs. While as in case of necrosis, we see the cell membrane is completely disrupted and there is a loss of membrane integrity. Second thing we see is that apoptosis begins by shrinking the cell and condensing the nucleus. If we draw the cell here, there is a cell shrinkage in case of apoptosis. While as when we look at the necrosis, we see it begins with swelling of the cell. That means the same cell will swell when necrosis occurs, as you can see in this diagram. Now another important difference is that in apoptosis, pyconesis occurs, that is the condensation of chromatin, which is followed by karyorhesis. That is the fragmentation of nucleus. So first of all the chromatin material will condense and then eventually will get fragmented. While as in case of necrosis both pyconesis as well as karyorhesis occurs. But here both of these events are followed by another process called karyolysis. That is the dissolution of cytoplasm. As you can see in this diagram. Looking at the apoptosis now finally there is a formation of apoptotic bodies. When the cell breaks apart into multiple vesicles what we call as apoptotic bodies like these. While as in case of necrosis there is no formation of any vesicles rather there is a complete cell lysis. And finally in the end they share a common step in the form of phagocytosis. So these are the major differences in their pathway. Now if we see some physiological differences in apoptosis and necrosis, we come to know that in apoptosis there is no inflammation, while as in necrosis the inflammation occurs. When we talk about energy, the apoptosis needs energy to be driven, while as the necrosis is passive process and is energy independent. And finally the last major difference we can say is that apoptosis is initiated by physiological stimuli while as necrosis is mostly induced by non-physiological stimuli. So these are the major differences between apoptosis and necrosis in a brief manner. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.